Alright guys, it's the wizard here, and today we're going to be stripping out a furnace. So, I'll show you guys step by step how to do this. First thing you're going to want to do is probably cut all the wires because they tend to get in the way. So, you'll want a decent pair of wire cutters. And we'll get started on that right now. Now the amount of wires varies from furnace to furnace. I've seen furnaces that have like six wires and that's it. Oh, we're just going to rotate a little bit so that the camera can still see me. tends to be easier on the bigger furnaces because you can really get your hands in there and cut them a lot easier, but this one's not too, too bad. Bucket here, real quick. You're just after all the little wires that they put through it, so you're going to want to toss those to save for later. Yeah, you don't need to hold it right up to the camera no more. Oh, uh, because I got your whole angle. Oh, so you got to feel the vision. Yeah. Yeah. Cut all these wires. So guys, do us a favor while he's cutting all them wires off. Do us a favor, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And don't forget, we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers, guys. So each and every one of you guys that ring that bell will help us reach our goal. And, uh, yeah, do us another favor, too. Down in the comments, if you think uh, the wizard is doing a good explanation of this video, and you guys like these types of videos, uh, let us know down in the comments. All right. Thing you're going to want to go after is the jet here. I'll show you why in a minute. Now the reason we take these out is there are decent brass uh, jets on it and then you've got the cast aluminum base that's also got these copper solenoids in them. So we set these aside and process them at a later time. So we'll just set that over here. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna go after is 
is of course the copper motor. And these are, in my opinion, these are the fun part of furnaces. Because you get to use a little bit of persuasion. Get the copper motor out and we also press these at a later time so we'll set that aside right now and now comes the fun part these guys are usually always buried under a bunch of tubes again it does vary from furnace to furnace sometimes the gauges are easy to get out sometimes they're a little bit of a an endeavor. I'm going to attempt this. You okay? You okay? Sorry. everything that's in my way so now you're just gonna have two maybe sometimes four it all depends from the furnace furnace but this one it's two and you just pull the two screws at the top out there and then as long as there's no screws that want to hide on me if I can get these two tubes out because yeah cut them on the other side but then this is where the second motor in here you are going to have more wires to cut here. Now sometimes these guys can have transformers on them and this one appears to have two transformers. Flip it over to the other side, check for wires, no wires. Now typically we don't go after these circuit boards because they're just junk boards. but. Sometimes there are some boards on them that can be good. It all varies again to furnace to furnace. This one, this one is sadly a junk board because they didn't want to give us a good board. But they did give us two transformers and a pretty hefty motor. So we're going to show you how to get those out. So we'll start with the motor because it's the most weight on this thing. And flipping this thing with that weight is not fun. So right here, there's going to be a square bolt. You'll want your adjustable wrench. And you just pop that guy off. Right like that. Hopefully this one shakes off easily too. With the... It'll slide right out. I just showed you that it will. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes these guys like to be stubborn and we really got to shake them around a bunch. Alright, so I'm going to need the large bit for that.
cost the extension on this one. Look at that, she came out like a dream. Love when they do that. Then, all right, so these ones are gonna be so For the transformer beamers, it's usually just two to four bolts that are holding them in. And it seems that they're all the same size, which makes my job a little easier, but sometimes they tend to be two different sizes. So you'll just want to double check before you start, and maybe I'm going to... It seems like it's going to be two different sizes again today. So bend you back for now, and go after that one, because... Go after the easiest one first. As you can see, these are copper transformers. Not the biggest, but they're still worth grabbing because there's usually two of them. in a future video and if I'm not mistaken that's the future video I get to play with machete so I'm really looking forward to that video pop this guy right back in where it came from okay. and that's uh, pretty much all there is to it and don't forget if you guys want to see more videos like where I'm doing the talking. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell, do whatever. Because all of that at the end of the day makes it where I get to do the talking and James gets to watch. I and guess. Don't forget, we are on the road to 3K, so tell everyone you know because I really want to see that 3. Alright, guys. Till next time, keep scrapping. Have a good one.